The Ultimate Table Saw Tenon Jig automatically adjusts for the thickness of the blade. And this is done with that big beautiful brass curved compensation knob. My friend Andy made the mistake of once saying, Steve, if you need any small bits of turning, like brass knobs, just let me know. And that was filed under O for one day. So I reminded him of this rash offer and look what turned up. Aren't they beautiful? I was going to use a knurled one, but I've decided to use it on something I use more often than this occasional jig. I could do with a new pencil gauge, so I think I'll use it for that. It doesn't have to be brass, of course. Any knob with a flat face will work, and my first one was just a piece of plywood. When the jig is closed, it doesn't do anything. But when a spacer is put in, it works its magic, and it's dead easy to set up. So now, when we push these two pieces together, the gap that's down the middle made by the blade moves to the edge. So we've got this little lip here, which is exactly the same size as the curve of the blade. Now the first thing to do is to clamp this piece here. Like that. And this needs to go in there. So I'll just slacken that off and screw it in until it's like that. And we want to arrange it so that this and this are gripped to the same degree. So it's a question of judgment. But that is pretty good. And that is pretty good. So look, we'll just try it. We may need to adjust it. But once this is set, it never needs to be changed again until I use a different blade for the job. That feels good. And now this curve compensation stop sticks out by exactly the same distance as the curve created by the blade. So when it's in the closed position, it fits into this little hollow here. And then when we put a spacer in like that, for example, there is a gap here, which is the same size as the curve of the blade. So the jig moves from one side of the blade to the other side of the blade to make the second cut.